Hello everybody. Yes, 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 yes. You listened very well. Back to board season 4. I have a special guest here. Uh, not so special because it's already a resident. Hello there. Who are you? I I'm pretty sure everyone knows who I am by now. <laughs> Mr. Papa. Oh, that voice. I don't, I don't I don't know about um being a resident per se because I've been uh, often about doing random different things instead of helping you which is what I should have been doing to uh, to aid season 4 and finish off season 3 very well so yeah here we are back again and looking forward to a great next season yeah so season 4 if people uh, told me years ago you will create a podcast with 4 seasons I would say nah <laughs> it's not gonna happen so here we are, season 4. Uh, guys, uh, today it is a special episode because we are starting the season 4, but we also have an update on Legends. So we're gonna cover all the things around Legends, the update, patch notes, uh, things that are uh, hiding behind little details, opinions about the ships that they are coming, the Black Fleet, because we are having Black Friday, um, I think that people are uh, speculating the ships, but I saw some screenshots right, from the teaser of the Wargaming showing the ships and I'm really, really impressed about the new black ships. So uh, we, ha we are having the updates, we're gonna comment extensively on that and I'm here also to tell you that in Season 4 we're gonna let the community engage even more with us so guys if you are hearing this you can start recording on your phone you can start send us uh, voice messages i will share my email that i will accept all the messages of you creating an episode a special episode uh, putting all the all your opinions together all your recordings together from wherever you want to record whatever you want to say you may say hello from aboard the, the world from any places <clears throat> just record from your phone share it with an email just make it short over one two minutes long that's that's enough to say your opinion about things that are coming so we are asking you today to share with us uh, you can find the link on the discord and the email on the comments on the new episode that will be uploaded today share it with us send your opinion say hello send your greetings send anything you like to be to be heard on our podcast so what do you think about that Dirks? i don't know about you papa but i love hearing my own voice on spotify <laughs> really do you really like your own voice no. you know people really don't like no their own i'm voice. not it's a strange i'm feeling. not a narcissist mm -hmm. like it's i, I mm -hmm. like to hear the the podcast itself like the 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 show so to speak hearing yourself in it is a bit odd you realize oh yeah that was the day that i had a tickly cough or that was the day that you know i got stabbed or something i don't you know it it, it probably isn't that extensive or uh, drastic but yeah it's it's something that you don't necessarily walk into a room and go yeah that's my voice and i'm really happy with that yeah, I have a meme about that. People may may see it in the in the Discord chat about hearing your own voice. You can check it up yourself. Anyway, so uh, we have the new update. How was the previous update? I mean, do you have to speak something for the Halloween event and <laughs> the the past update? Do you have any any things to to remember and to connect with the upcoming update? So Halloween yeah it's it, it felt relatively uninspired there was a lot of um copy paste from previous years yeah the the system changed a bit but i was expecting something a bit well quite a bit different to be honest because i know that they have the ability to to give us some fantastic stuff and yeah it, it, it was it was good but for for new players i don't think that veteran players other than challenging their selves to be to greeting into you know cycle number one cycle number two past 
number five because that was the milestone if you if you passed the number five cycle it was a sip but i saw that some people went over uh, number nine and it was really really crazy because it, the difficulty was very high but i saw some great moves for some players that they uh, ram the Transylvania and Silicona <laughs> smoking it through yeah. there. It was quite. Very it was nice. very smart, to be honest. I was. I was. We tried it ourselves, and to be. To it is effective. It can work, and probably is one of the greatest ways to to actually get it through. But the amount of communication you've got to do, the amount of luck, you know, you can't afford to get transparently spotted. Though we we did try it quite a bit just to see how it goes. I'm I'm at the the ninth um, echelon as well, but it it isn't something that continued to appeal to me. The, the good thing about it was you could, uh, you obviously got extra um, uh, coins or whatever the things were this year um, throughout every week that, that you were playing. So it did sort of gentrify and bring new people to it and allow for them to, to gain more uh, out of it. But yeah, new players, more so, not necessarily the older ones. I would have preferred to see something that's a bit more unique or new. Yeah, indeed, something something new. But at the moment, it was a very good update. The only thing that I was uh, whining about it, and I also said it in the Discord, in the official Legend Discord about it, my feedback was that I was angry, not enough angry to justify my thoughts, but I really wanted uh, Salem to be unchanged because uh, it was a really great ship and it really uh, was play, played by players that they were fearless and they were trying to exploit the, the armor of the bow and now they change it so they change it to a more normal style so it was not good for my opinion because i was that player that wanted to play that way and to exploit that armor and be the bow armor the bow tanking cruiser you know it was a beast and now yeah it's a beast till now but i really wanted that ship to be a bit special but they took the decision to change it and i mean it's kind of frustrating is is why it is because originally uh, the way that it was set up yes it was very good but did it deserve that the main thing for me was not the the plating for the casement that that mm -hmm. wasn't my issue uh it, yeah. it was mainly to do with the reload like a second drop is a big thing yet indeed it can't compete indeed. as well they did right with the radar keeping it at 8.5 they did right with uh, a variety of different things on it but yeah the the reload could have been affected but i think that a second is just it's it's a lot and it takes a it's lot a away lot. from it so yeah, yeah salem is still very good don't get me wrong it's very yeah. good regardless of circumstance solid. but solid sip well yeah uh, but it's not outperforming a des moines now which yeah yeah is good too <laughs> okay that's okay so that was my only thing that i was complained about the update not because i'm someone <laughs> that it really complains every update but it was um I'm gonna say just a small feedback from me okay uh, anyway so nerfs. we have the new update let's talk yeah, more nerfs. about nerfs N nerfs nerfs the balance, the balance. <laughs> we we have the new patch note today the update is coming so let me let me speak about the update and you can also uh, comment about it so we have a new tier 8 sip are you happy with that Heisen. Heisen. Ish. Mm, uh, what do you think? I mean... Tier 8. Do it's I... Tier 8. Yeah, I mean, do I play standard Japanese battleships? No. Um, the only difference with this is its turret layout uh, and barrels per turret. That's mainly the only difference that I can see, at least. Um, but, yeah, it, it is, again... As far as I'm concerned, relatively uninspired. I would have preferred not to see another tier eight 
as a campaign ship, but I understand the need to populate it as well, so... I don't know. Indeed. So, I also see... Do, did you see they have discounts on Tier 8? Yes, I did see yeah. that. Yes, I did. Yeah. That is the biggest thing coming out of this, especially <laughs> if you yeah, are... Indeed. If you're in a fleet as well, you're getting double the discounts. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. it, yeah. it's a massive benefit. And they said, what, 30% off? And then you would get the addition from... You know, you're going to be under 20 million, easily. Indeed, indeed. Potentially indeed. 18 and a half. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maths is not my strong point. Don't ask me to do yeah. maths. <laughs> but yeah, but very, very nice, uh, very nice. Uh, uh, yeah, you save a lot. Discount. Yeah, you save a lot because people are greeting. They are, uh, they are need to to generate money. Silver is not very huge in this game i mean you don't create huge number because you need to play a lot but it's okay so let me mm, recap the november update all in black we have black ships we will speak about later brawl seasons 12 13 14 fleet battles oh yeah i know fleet mm. we have the fleet and now we have the fleet battles so it's really the social aspect of the game that is starting to take form. Uh, Wargaming is is going to create something with that. We really don't know the appearance of the fleet battles and the, how it's going to be used. But at the moment is something huge. And I think that um, uh, members of the Wargaming will be happy to speak about that in later days. I, we need to extensively... Uh, watch this over the time. Do you feel happy about that? The fleet battles? Are you waiting it? I mean, you are a competitive player and you are wanting to to sweep the the keyboards and the game pads. I do like that they've implemented it. We are way too far down the line for them to to do it though. But it's it's come and hopefully it, it goes well. The well, there's two things that I've picked up on here that confuse me a little one is mm -hmm. five player divisions yeah why why now the, it does in the fleet it doesn't yeah. definitely say fleet. that it's <laughs> only five player divisions it says that five player divisions will will be in this in the new update mm -hmm. or during the new update it could be more than that it could be less eventually they'll they'll probably change it around like they do with rank like they do with brawl and whatnot but i don't like that they've insinuated that it, it is limited to five because why would you have a up to 40 fleet and just Indeed. limit it to potentially five? Yes, you could probably do multiple, but yeah. how is this going to accrue? Is there going to be like a leaderboard? Is there going to be a multitude of, you know, everyone boosting their numbers or so who never can get to the top ranking or I, d I don't know. And also the frequency, the frequency of them, Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday, Every single week for five weeks. That yeah, is every single week for five weeks. Yeah. But Indeed. also, it's... you've got your brawl. You've still got your campaign. You've still got a variety of different things that you're going to need to do. So yeah, is yeah. is the fleet battles going to reflect doing your missions or what? You know, it, it it really takes away from a lot of the rest of the game. I would say. Yeah, I think that uh, what gaming needs to explain more about this into the details. I think that tomorrow or maybe in two days we're gonna have some extensive um, reaction on on these things that you really really did a great job here and notice we have uh, balance changes that we'll speak later and we have the hololive calendar i mean you know the calendar things that what gaming wants you to log every day <laughs> play a battle <laughs> so you can grind the chain over the calendar some people finding frustrating some people they don't care they spend the money on the chains so they can uh, they can uh, grind without losing the gifts uh, wargaming is doing all the best they can do so they can uh, engage people every day in their game they want the population to stay up so which is sensible that's a good job yeah yeah, yeah. but but the the, the whole life calendar is something for the whips and I know that the, yeah. the Weeb, the Weebs are really, really fun of this and they really like it. 
So you took the words right out of my mouth because I was going to say exactly the same thing. The first thing I was going to say was, what is Hololive? And then I did a little, little look into it and <laughs> it, it's certainly an interesting um, little thing. Uh, if, if anyone wants to see it, just go to virtualyoutuber.fandom.com and look at the wiki on Hololive. You'll be... <laughs> uh, you, you, you'll be surprised. Yeah, you will be surprised. Very nice addition. I mean, they are creating collaborations inside the calendar and they are giving people the joy to play those chain missions and earn more. That's very good. That's very good. I mean, I really have to pay respects on the marketing department. Yeah, they're really doing a great job. Next, we have the, the Zhao Boreo project. I mean, Contentious, really? very contentious. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, 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 really perfect to be true. And then we see things that really don't surprise us. So let me start. We have some 20 fast long lens torpedoes, a high rate of fire and a lot of damage. This legendary cruiser means business. You can gain access to her via the Burial project that will be available to pick up in store. In store. From in store from December 1st. I wonder what that means. Let me let me read this again. Project that will be available to pick up in store from December 1. Maybe it will be free. You can join the store and you know roam it free but uh, for my personal opinion is that anything it is in store it has to involve some currency so i'm really anxious about that and how the price will be but it says clearly you can access to her via the burial project that will be available to pick up in store from several one any comment on the Zhao legendary cruiser okay it's a very good ship yes 20 fast long torpedoes high rate of fire you know all that uh huh uh, it's still no Hindenburg but yes it is a relatively tanky at least from the PC aspect of what I've seen um long range uh HE spamming Megami style but better ship and yeah, it looks really good. And long lance torpedoes are going to hit hard. And it probably will have maybe 10, 12 kilometer range. You might even be able to get those shimmer tops, which you, you get up to 20. But um, it's likely that that will be a good ship. And that is probably why it may or may not, I don't really know, be behind a paywall. If you look at Haku and you look at Midway, they both were, what, 30 mil each? And that takes you a long time to, to get. So I don't know how popular that's going to be with the community. But I'm pretty sure there will be people out there that will get it instantly on December 1st. Yeah, exactly. Regardless. Exactly my thoughts. Yeah, regardless. So we have a special um, link that leads us to the Ministry of Balance report. A flurry of changes is the title and we have some changes in the legendary tier but before that we know that people are like to go wild in social media and I have some comments regarding reddit and we can see that people <laughs> went daft again <laughs> and say things about the new update I mean daft in a very sensible way not the crazy one so I'm gonna read you some uh, feedback from the reddit page and some comments that really gaining some momentum so we have the germ dome TCM and says I'm disappointed about the nerfs of Sclifen and Prince Rupert you guys have killed Lepando and will do the same with the German secondary brawlers they are powerful only on the right hands the statistics miss that now let's get back to the helm of reversing sniping BBs, so much more fun. So 
that's the main comment that uh, gained momentum in Reddit with uh, 43 up, uh, upvotes at the moment. So people are really unhappy. It's not the majority, <laughs> but you know you can you can smell uh, the things how are going because one comment lead to another comment and they create some hype over this. So what do you think about that the ribs? But before saying this, let me say that we have legendary tier balance rework and Slytherin is hit it by the nerf butt. So no, no, no. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So Schlieffen is and has been one of the better ships at the tier. Regardless of if it takes damage or not, it has the greatest ability to push just because of the way that its turrets are angled. Uh, yes, secondaries are ridiculously good as well, and the pen on them is more than the majority. So if you're a destroyer, Let's say you are a Smarland, for example. The Schlieffen is going to be coming towards you at a relatively similar to pace to as you can run away. And I just think that it is necessary that the secondaries are, are nerfed. And if you think about it, it has the longest secondaries. It has the best, well, semi-best pen of them. And it can cause a lot of fires. And there is... Uh, a little change that you can make to your commander that allows for a ridiculous amount of fires over a very short period of time. So it is sensible, very sensible, to reduce the reload rate. I would argue that it might have even been more sensible to reduce the accuracy or the dispersion of them to allow for uh, less hits, especially towards destroyers, because destroyers get absolutely rinsed at any range buy them so yeah i think it's necessary i don't like it because i like secondary ships myself i didn't like it when they did it to lapanta um and i do like that they um they have the ability to to have longer range secondaries because your main batteries aren't as good um as other ships of, of a similar caliber so yeah i agree with it i don't like it but it's necessary Stalingrad. Stalingrad. Future King, yeah, Stalingrad. I mean, whatever word starts with uh, Stalingrad here in Legend, it creates a meme. And now the meme is that the Stalingrad get access to main battery 80 cells. Mm. So that's, yeah, if I stop here, it's even enough so people they can leave their imagination what will happen <laughs> when the Stalingrad gets 80. So it will be with the fire chains of 33% base fire chains 33%. Yeah. I mean, it's really it's really 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 great news and with penetration up to 51 uh, and, and it's going to be really really huge for the Stalingrad. But we have some HP distribution chains the bow HP reduced from 9.8 to 4.9. The case made reduced from 10.6 to 5.3. I mean, the superstructure also. Also, we have very, very, very huge reduces over the the HP of the Stalingrad. So it's. I think it's a fair balance. You give 80 cells, and uh, you reduce some HP over the the case made, the superstructure, the stern, and the bow. I mean, all the ship you. You so, have. What do you think about the Stalingrad? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's all buffs. Because if, if you're reducing the HP of a specific aspect of it, it means you can't take any more out of it, especially if you're using exactly. HE, for example. Um, or if you're... Let's, let's say you were going up against a, um, a, a SAP cruiser or a SAP secondary um, or SAP main battery uh, Italian. It, it's going to affect it significantly. And also, it's already pretty well armoured. So, mm -hmm. I think that this is a very strong buff, and I, I would argue that it, it would be beneficial to, to get the Stalingrad. However, even though I can, I'm still not going to. And why do you think that would yeah. be? Indeed, indeed, it is a very... I mean, it is a ship with a special 
playstyle. Very situational. Not, yeah, very situational. You have to be uh, very good at your pickings and you have to be very, very good at the situation awareness over the map, map awareness, where to place your bow. Exactly. It's a very good ship with very good ballistics and I don't know if that HP distribution that changed it's gonna help people delete the Stalingrad over the map easily at the moment. There's a thing that would know. make it harder which is the rear turret firing angle. However, no one knows as of yet how, how that's going to be. But if they are decreasing the, the firing angle, it's gonna make it harder to actually hurt it. So especially from long ranges as as they've said. So it is probably going to be a really good cruiser of the tier. It'll be good if you already have it. And as I say, I could literally get it tomorrow if it came out. Well, I could get it now if I wanted to. But I don't think that it's going to be the best performing thing up there. I think it's really long. It takes a long time to turn around. It is situational. You pretty much push yourself up against islands. Its HP value in general is all right, but it can be deleted so quickly. I mean, I hit, I hit at a max range. I think it was like 19.5 or something like that. A broadside, Stalingrad, it's plunging fire, and almost dev strike. Very, very close. Also, at max range, you used to be able to. I don't know if you can do this anymore because I haven't done it in uh, a recent history. But uh, a Minotaur can Citadel you with plunging fire. So, <laughs> like, you, you're still really in a bad place unless you're aggressive. Like, aggressive positioning is probably going to be the benefit of that ship. But again, you've got to put yourself up against islands. You've got to narrow your um, field of view. But in doing that, you're obviously narrowing everyone else's shot opportunities. So, it's situational it isn't going to be a game winner per se but it's still going to be very good it's time uh, stalingrad to be at the top again and maybe people will like to to have it i mean it's not a popular ship i don't even see it in games anymore i mean it's been a long time since i saw a stalingrad yeah. play very well but anyway, let's go to the Alaska, also a legendary ship cruiser. Main battery firing range increased and battery reload time reduced from 20 seconds to 18 seconds. That's very good. Uh, some uh, HP increased over the ship, the bow reduced, casemate reduced. I mean, we have the same pattern uh, with Stalingrad over the, the ship HP. It is increased from uh, 54.72 to 60.80 but we have this the parts of the, the part of the ships that are reduced in HP and that is leading to that you can't you can't uh, do damage in uh, saturated areas so that ship structure is going to be saturated very very easy very soon and you will have to find other ways to chunk damage over the ships. Uh, do you think that really is that pattern mm -hmm. that we see now? Is it something to stop the the HC spamming on the game and change the meta? What do you think about that, Reeds? It seems to be. I mean, the you. I I agree with it, and I think it's not necessarily to change the meta of the HG. I think it's more so to combat the ineffectiveness of the rebuttal so if if you are for example shooting at a broadside worcester sometimes it can be hard to do anything especially at short ranges um it can over pen a lot it's probably more so to balance that aspect of it rather than make it take less damage because its heal's still pretty good it still has a lot of health even though it's being buffed and yeah I think it's more so just to balance the, the inequality that it has, yes, but more so to keep it in the game longer, rather than, you know, for it to be more efficient. And But the, the one thing that I picked up on significantly about this is sonar consumable improvement. 
that is quite a bit different. Um, it's better to have, obviously, further ship detection. People will forget about that as well, so you will get destroyers accidentally. Um, or they will get caught accidentally, I should say. Sonar detection on tops being up as well is, again, quite useful, especially for a long ship. But it turns well, you know? It's not like a Stalingrad, for example. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is a very maneuverable ship, and you can avoid a lot of... Uh, it's big, Alaska, it's a big ship, it's a big cruiser, but it's not like Stalingrad that you are uh, like a floating brick that cannot turn easily and be maneuverable to avoid torpedoes and stuff like that. It's the next one. The next one yeah. is the most interesting. Yeah, easily the most popular legendary tier destroyer. Simakaze also has a significant impact in battle, so detectability range by sea increased from 6.7 to 6.9 kilometers. Detectability range by air increased from 3.35 to 3.5. Okay, detectability while firing smoke increased 2.5 to 2.6. De detectability while firing smoke. Why will you firing in smoke? In a Japanese cruiser okay, destroyer, why will you ever fire in the smoke? Please, God, no. Yeah, I mean you don't need to because you've got one of the best detections out there, but it's about to be ruined a bit. The one thing for me is who is getting to 2.6 kilometers from a smoke yeah, against a smoke. shimmer? Because <laughs> they're going to have RGA on. That's that's what all <laughs> shimmers do. So they'll spot you at three yeah. kilometers. They can still fire at you. And they'll top you anyway. So it really exactly. doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. is a completely unnecessary thing to change. The range, yes, I agree with that because there are still some really low detection ones that are frustrating. Uh, the detectability by air, don't really care too much about it. You don't see that many midways or hackers about. So it's not that much of a nerf. It is something that is necessary again, I think, but it, it, it's... I will agree that it is on the minimum side and now we're going to see something that we don't see many times in the patch notes we're going to tier 8 and we see the name of the Heisen I mean isn't that the ship that will come we haven't even got Legends? it it's it's not here yeah. yet <laughs> it's 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 <laughs> pre-buffed for your pleasure <laughs> <laughs> it is a dish that is served cold but finally <laughs> it's not cold it's hot <laughs> i mean it's uh, uh, how can i tell it it's like the french fries it's like double fried uh, triple fried uh, his is like mm, I'm double fried at the moment because it's the ship that is coming to legend and already have a history of what happened during the testing of Heisen. So uh, Wargaming is now giving us some feedback from the session that during the testing of Heisen, we found that she needed some additional help, help to stand out at tier eight. So we are increasing her offensive abilities. So let's see, main battery reload time reduced from 36 seconds to 33.5. So we know now the stats at uh, day one, the Heisen has 33.5 reload time. That's not really huge in tier 8 at the moment. Okay, the main battery range increased from 17.80 kilometers to 17.38. Okay, not really something huge. Main battery cell grouping increased by 2.5% so that's the sigma 2.5% from 1.8 to 1.85 so the sigma went over 1.8 to 1.85 ship speed increased from 28.2 to 29 knots that's speedy enough in tier 8 Detectability range by C reduced from 15.84 to 15.51 kilometers. That's something minimal. By air, not really huge changes. Detectability while firing smoke, nothing really huge. <laughs> what do you think about that? If you see a ship, the new update ship is having those well, things. 
first and foremost, it needed it, didn't it? <laughs> Even though no one's ever played it before, it definitely needed it. Uh, it sounds like Super Test have done their job, and everyone has made a general consensus of this isn't competitive, you're going to have to do something about it. So, yes, the uh, main battery shell grouping is good. That's up and around quite a few American BBs. Um, so, the accuracy is going to be... It's going to be pretty good. Um, the range, you'll be able to buff that up to 20, I'd imagine. So, yeah, that's that's good too. But that is minimal. The reload is interesting because you're outpaced by a Margi consistently, regardless of if it's 36 or 33. So, I don't know about that. Um, but the speed looks good. It'll take a while to get up there if it's like any other um, Japanese BB. But the detectability, that really is inconsequential as well. It's it's nothing great. But if you're having to improve something before you can even bring it to the community, is it really going to be worth it in the, the end anyway? I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I really agree on that. Yeah, but if we, if we sense about Hizen in the PC era, what do you think that we will find? I mean... Let's see what Wargaming says about Hizen in the global wiki. It's a pre-draft battleship project that was developed in the mid-1930s in Japan. It included different versions with speeds varying from 24 to 31 knots, so we're, we're really at the moment approaching historical va uh, values in the game. Main battery guns from uh, 410 to 460 mm, and displacements from 49 to 69.5 tons, thousand tons. Okay, one of the variant had a conventional super firing arrangement of four turrets with three 410 mm guns in each, and its 155 mm guns were housed in triple gun turrets. Interesting ship at the moment. So that was in December 2020 in the wargamingnet.net wiki. So we are saying that we have huge guns, Drips. What do you think about the guns in the PC I mean, era? The, they're the same as a Margie, aren't they? Um, you, Me indeed, yeah. You have the same. Well, you have, what, one less? Is that right? Yeah, we ha one less? You, you have, yeah, you have four in four in triple turrets. One less it's and a worse reload yeah. and more than likely better dispersion but still probably the same pen i don't really know one thing that um world warships pc did really well for heisen specifically was in relation to buying it because you had like a a, a mission set up and then you would pay doubloons for it they already pay less doubloons for what they get anyway but if you had a yahagi in your port you would pay four thousand less doubloons mm-hmm that that would have been nice to see here, but you know that's how campaigns work. It's quite different to, uh, to how the PC orientation is. But I would have preferred Heisen to be a um, reward ship or something like that instead. But it's um, it's here as a campaign ship, isn't it? Yeah. So let me speak about it about the pros and the cons that the page has. It's a strong broadside of 12 for 10 mm guns main guns yeah that's a strong broadside yes but the same as the amagi oh wait no. one did you say 12 12 yeah oh i it, said it, four. it's got yeah, two it, more then yeah it's more it's four in 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 three yeah four by three. Four. Oh yes it'd be 12. four yeah. by three yeah it's four by three so we have 12 guns okay good firing angles that make angling very easy Good dispersion, typical of Japanese battleships, we say that. And now let's go to the cones. Weak armor protection, lot of 32mm common plating and a vulnerable citadel. So the citadel is really easy to exploit. That uh, Slow main guns, travel speed. I mean, every Japanese player that plays Japanese ships knows that will be slow main gun traverses uh, speed. Abysmal main gun reload speed sigma is very put poor at the moment here in the pc is 1.7 poor concealment okay it is a battleship very poor aa defenses 
and the stock version has three repair party charges that's on the pc side so what do you think i mean i think we really expected that let's see how it's gonna be implemented in legends i don't see it as being massively competitive unless you can use it as a max range ship and if you're using it as a max range ship why wouldn't you use something else you know yeah. there's 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 a lot out there that can can do the same thing as that especially if it is relatively weak you just want something okay. with a better better reload so i'm, I'm not a fan mm -hmm. okay let's go and continue with the, the balance changes i will not uh, uh, review all the changes but i will stand in one uh, tier seven the monarch monarch is getting her b hull applied so and say that it comes with a series of improvements to her hp and the aircraft weaponry and rather save time as well to her fire resistance so that's really good news in the ship that it was really a button on tier 7 yeah. the mona it was mm, very much yeah, so it, it, was. It, it, yeah. it was a decent ship for what it was but it had so much more potential if it got exactly this and it does it gets a lot of benefits from uh changing the resistance multiplier up from fire which to be honest is not that much because you know it, it really doesn't matter um when it comes to healing and whatnot um but yeah the the anti-aircraft that is so necessary um it, it it really struggles with that it definitely needed more hp it's good to see that it's got a rudder shift um change as well which i wasn't necessarily expecting if they were going to buff it but it's useful nonetheless so it could be more competitive. It's definitely a, a good change, I would say. And Monarch has not seen any any changes at all, as far as I'm aware, since it was implemented initially, and it's and just indeed, been drowned in the. It uh, was left. It was left abandoned. At yeah. The moment. It, but it was. Really it was back to port. Yeah. Back Sorry. To port, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was that was too much. <laughs> And now we have uh, something that really upset the people, but I don't see the reason people got upset with that. Kansas main battery AP cell damage reduce uh, for 12.4 to 11.5. That's not really something big. And main battery reload time re increased from 34 to 35 seconds. I mean, Kansas is a solid ship. It really performs very well. I'm not agree with people saying that it really hurt the ship. You're gonna be performing very, 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 very well in that ship, even with those um, things. The main battery load time increased. I mean, one second is not very huge in Kansas. That's my opinion. You can say otherwise if you have any other things the ribs what do you think about that i mean again i agree with it it it, it makes sense that it, kansas dunks on way too many people and it is way too accurate so the accuracy and firepower focus play style as they've said uh is what they're keeping but it it just changes it slightly so yeah it, it's beneficial for everyone who plays against it for those who play with it it's a minor minor thing excellent yes yes that's it okay i will leave the rest unless we have something to tell us uh, uh, of the page i mean yeah we don't i'm gonna don't do like i'm to... gonna do a real quick run through if that's okay yeah. um because neptune buffs fantastic st louis buffs needed kitakazi buffs that is the big one 20 mil to 30 mm -hmm. mil he penetration and a reduction in reload time that makes it better than the akazuki for the first time since its implementation san diego that has not had any real attention because not many people have it but it has had a significant buff um despite the reload being pushed up a bit for no reason megami yeah, i don't know <laughs> megami didn't need it and uh riga yes everything is beneficial there all buffs all good all fun accuracy now love it done perfect okay Let's go to the more juicy stuff. The Black Fleet, I mean the Black Offer Special, the Black Friday 2023. I have here a, a screenshot. What do you think we've got uh, here? Um, uh, people in Reddit say that 
there is a tear bridge black so they went daft over it and say that it's gonna be all over German ships <laughs> but I said come on uh, we need variety it usually you know it usually is a destroyer a cruiser and a battleship uh, but that time it's something different so I have a screenshot here in the official discord uh, that captured the moment of the teaser that has been produced by Wargaming and it says it's the Tirpitz Black, the Dunkirk Black at tier 5 Ooh. and the Asasio Black at tier 6 and also there is a Napoli Black skin oh. in, in the frame Napoli Black skin it's only a skin at the moment that's fine uh, yeah, I can and see the values also, but I really don't know if they are... Um, anyone who they made are... their Napoli. Mm. Uh, limited offer, 17.5 thousand doubloons for the Tirpids, 10,000 doubloons for the Dunkirk, uh, 12.5 thousand doubloons for the Asasio Black. There is a variety on the prices and also 5,000 doubloons for the Napoli black skin. It means that there are people that made it over the Napoli. Do you think that? Maybe. Question for you. Why would mm. you not just use the shadow camera? I really... Um... <laughs> 5K or shadow camera? Yeah. 5K, 5K or shadow camera? For a bit of oh. silver, maybe? A bit of chrome? Oh, yeah. fantastic. That's not 5k. Okay. Don't yeah. sell that to me. I can see in the background of the image, I can see that there is this flag over the ship in, in the background. So maybe we get some flags with those uh, black uh, camos. Oh, yeah, you will. Black... You'll, you'll get a flag me. out. Yeah. <laughs> Did that say black camos? No. <laughs> Forgive me. The black versions? No, yeah. So there are some special flags for that. Shadow. Ship. And also, yeah, there is <laughs> there is a Napoli flag also <laughs> uh, in the in the skin. I really don't I'm know what is. Uh, I'm imagining yeah. that there'll be discounts available with it as well because they kind of look like yeah. coupons, right? Mm, probably, but at the moment the screenshot uh, from the teaser uh, can only left the imagination <laughs> for us to say that. I can say that uh, there are special on. It is on the store at the special tab. It says Black Friday 2023, and it give that zip. So some people ask in the disc on the official Discord, and ask the team. They ask very good and says, "Blick blip, confirm in general that there will be a camo and a zip like with ARP Musashi." For example, and there is a, a screenshot probably from crates at the moment that says that if you probably it will be the Black Friday crates and it gives you the odds of earning that ship and says Dunkirk B 7% uh, odds, Asasio B 5% odds, Tirpitz B. 2.75 odds and then it comes with a star and says Napoli B 0.25% so that really reminds me the the, the things with uh, we saw with key uh, back in years we saw with the um, uh, the Atago B a uh, few years ago so now they are offering napoli b and please uh, correct me napoli is a legendary tier right okay so it's really a special ship at the moment because i think few of uh, people have that ship and now comes in a special b version that also uh, has reduced odds i mean how would you feel if you are greeting for that ship long time ago in the burial and someone picked it on the crate and especially the B version <laughs> I mean there's there's not a great deal of people that won't have already started the Napoli project I would imagine however 
there's probably a lot of people out there that that haven't been able to so yeah if if they got that immediately that would be mm, i don't know <laughs> it's, it's yeah, hard to say yeah strange feeling we also have that napoli b stats has not been revealed yet probably will um, be better though as bismarck yeah. B was so mm, don't know again so that's the juicy news Treasure about chest look interesting yeah yeah indeed uh, i mean there are a lot of things to do in the updates i think that uh, we told all the necessary things about that i only have one problem about zhao and it needs to be resolved i mean how much the price it will be silver it will be doubloons it will be what it will be i really don't know and that really makes me nervous about the ship and what else yeah i think that we we said it all and also we said that people are starting to complain about the secondary builds that war gaming is really hitting people having secondary builds and all that stuff mm, that's all i really want to thank the ribs for being here and uh, starting the new season with us uh, as I said many times, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much and also thank you our patrons and the followers and everyone that is uh, uh, donating the small amounts of money or everything they want so we can keep running the episodes without ads, without any fees, uh, without any interruptions. So we really appreciate that. I really thank you don't forget to send us your uh, recordings and say hello and say your opinions so we can edit them and add them on our uh, new episodes on the new upcoming episode thank you very much see you soon stay safe and back to port